All right, we can go ahead and get started. Welcome to the Office Audience Community Call, everyone, and Happy New Year. Um, in our community call today, on our agenda, we have two presenters. First, Adrian will be going over um, introducing the new released Excel code samples, and David will then be sharing a workaround to debug in VS Code templates. Adrian, did you want to take over? Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, thank you, Priska. Um, so, yeah, so let's get started. So, um, so last time we have shared about the information that we're building the scenario-based sample code. And so this time we would like to give you an update on what we have been doing. So for a brief recap, uh, the purpose for the scenario-based sample code is that uh, we are trying to uh, we're trying to share some of the best uh, best practice that we have been observed on the market about how to leverage the full capacity capacity and and use those uh, platform capabilities to create amazing and powerful solutions. And today, I would like to share with you like uh, one of the sample code that we have been building uh, is a sample code that um, we, we built a mail merge service via the Graph API. So in these examples, uh, we demonstrate how to connect Excel with Outlook and sending multiple emails uh, with customized contents. So uh, this is especially helpful, for example, when you, um, for example, you might have a, a list of clients that you would like to send them emails for purpose like, uh, for example, like sending like New Year greeting, or you want to send them the in in invoice to all of them. And this sample, um, uh, this sample can help you to uh, use Excel as a database and take each of the row uh, fill them into your email and then send it out. In this in, uh, in this sample code, uh, we would like to share how to use Graph API to connect your um, uh, Excel existing capabilities with, with all other Microsoft products, for example, like OneDrive, SharePoint, Teams. So we believe this kind of combination can actually create very, very powerful scenarios. For example, like um, except the mail merge that we have been just sharing, how about uh, email notification? When you're uh, when you're working on something with Excel addings, at the same time you can send email to like others say, hey, we have been doing this for you. Or you can also use uh, Excel addings to create uh, scenarios like, for example, file management. Um, you can you can enlist all the files uh, file names on the uh, Excel file and then manage. Uh, manage your, uh, for example, like uh, ODSP, uh, OneDrive, SharePoint with the uh, with the data on Excel. Also, the Graph API can help you connect with calendars, user group, etc. So all kind of possibilities um, you can try. So uh, we would like to share a little bit about um, what's uh, the the sample code we have been building. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I can. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah. So. As we showed last time, this time we provide a one click, one click and run experience. So if you click the uh, the button on the GitHub, and we will launch the service directly. So in this uh, live demo, you can see that uh, the mail merge has been already in your in your uh, ribbon, and you can you can start launch and play around about uh, what a scenario it is. Another thing is that we also prepare the sample data, so you don't have to create your own. So this uh, this example shows the mail merge that we just mentioned. So you can see there's a uh, the template email, and you can use the Excel as a data to to share the um, to to put input the uh, data into uh, your uh, Excel sorry uh, email template, and then send it, send it out. And if you are interested about these scenarios, uh, here are some links for you. So the first of all. If you are interested in Graph API, again, they are very powerful. You can use Graph API and connect your Excel solutions with lots of Microsoft solutions. If you're interested in it, you can, uh, you can scan the QR code. Another thing is that uh, the Graph API, uh, API can also connect your solutions to like some of the 
educational educational scenarios on teams so which can uh, build like for example like class assignment um etc uh, scenarios which is also powerful if you are interested and if you are working uh, an ad tech build uh, this is the second link is the one for you and if you're just simply want to check the the uh, the demo that we've just been presenting, you can use the lattice, uh, you can scan the lattice QR code and you will get into our GitHub report and you can play around. And uh, we will, uh, we also provide, just as we have been demonstrated, we provide a one click uh, button so you can just click and run and try, uh, try out everything within a few minutes. And also, if you, uh, if you try this out and you feel like excited, Please don't hesitate to share your feedback with us. So we also provide a give us feedback link here. And uh, yeah, please let us know how you feel. And if you're and, and if there's something like more capability you want us to uh, to build out the sample code to demonstrate, please also let us know. And I will post here a little bit and see if there's any questions. Yeah. If no, then I'm thinking probably uh, I will give, back, give it back to Prithika. Great, thanks, Adrian. All right, next up, David will be going over the workaround debug and VS Code templates. Thanks, Prithika. Um, let me go ahead and share. It's just a demo, so I'm going to share my desktop. And bring up VS Code. Um, so I was going to show an issue that maybe folks are running into um, where when you create a new project and you go to debug it, you, you aren't able to set breakpoints in Visual Studio Code while you're debugging. So just to show you what this looks like and how to work around it, I'm going to create a new project. I'll just call it test, just a basic project, Excel add-in. I'll let VS Code or the Yo Office go ahead and run NPM install for that. And typically what you want to do is like there's a, a your debug menu in VS Code and you just want to be able to run that and set breakpoints and, and debug in the context of VS Code. Um, so let's go ahead and open that up. So I'm going to open up this project, new instance. All right, so here's my project. Let's say I want to go into the task pane JavaScript code and set a breakpoint. And then I want to go run it. And when you go to the run menu, you'll see these options for Excel desktop and Outlook and PowerPoint and so on. I'm going to pick the Edge Chromium option, which is just running the latest web view in Excel desktop. Oh, there we go. I must not have clicked it the first time. OK, so you'll see you'll get these errors. Uh, and then you also get this pop-up dialog with uh, saying there's been some errors and it can't sideload and launch it correctly. So what's happening is, and this is the workaround, if you go into your files, go to this VS Code folder, there's a tasks.json file. And if you go down to like uh, the debug for Excel desktop, this is the task that's going to run debugging for Excel. There's this dash 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 app Excel part of the command line, which you could just remove and just have it just start the desktop. For some reason, that's causing uh, an error. And then if I go back, just go back to debug and run this again. Now it's looking better. So it's launching the, the, the dev server. I get my add in side loading into Excel. And when I click the run button, 
thought it was going to hit my breakpoint. Let me go make sure I still have that breakpoint. Yep, it's still there. OK. There we go. Now I hit it. And so now my breakpoints are work. I can walk through the code and examine things and so on. So it's really just a matter of going to this task JSON file and then just editing that script line in there. So if anyone, if anyone out there is having an issue with that, that's the workaround. Uh, I have created a bug on that, so hopefully we can get that fixed because it should just be, you know, you run your office and as soon as you hit F5, everything's working. You shouldn't have to go edit this file. And that was it. Thank you. Back to you, Prithika. Great. Thanks, David. All right, that was all for our agenda this month. We didn't have any questions come in into the Ask Office Add-ins um, webpage, so that's why we don't have an, a Q&A &A section. But as a quick reminder, if you're new to the Office Add-ins community, here are some quick links on how to learn more about the different features that we have and how you can get started. We have some documentation, quick starts, and link to script lab, a couple samples, and you can also join our developer program um, if you are interested in that as well. And if you're interested in our other developer community calls, these are the options that we have available that kind of span different features across our um, team and M365 in general. So feel free to check that out as well. We have a link to the overarching um, M365 PNP page, which kind of gives you a summary of what all the calls are as well. And thank you for listening and tuning in. Uh, the recording will be available on the Microsoft 365 Community PNP YouTube channel. Feel free to follow us on Twitter. And our next call will be February 14th at 7 a.m. And once again, this is the link to join the call. Our agenda will be posted here. And if you have any questions, you can submit them at the Office Add-ins form, and we will include those in the next Q&A portion of our call. Thank you. Thank you.